Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is Space Cadet. Space Cadet is a third person 3D platform game where the player will be tasked with maneuvering through rough space asteroid terrains and gathering pieces of their spaceship. The player will be accompanied by unique AI bot Zeke that will give the player access to buildable pieces for their weapon and their ship. And the player will be equipped with a unique weapon with three main interchangeable attachments to help scale areas otherwise inaccessible. Once the player has gathered enough pieces of their ship and made it through three terrain levels, they'll have enough pieces to make it home, winning the game. Now the rules are simple. You cannot travel off planet due to barriers unless you're in your ship. The gravity is in place but altered by weapon upgrades and your jetpack that does have three seconds of lift for jump. And falling from high distances hurt you as well as falling objects. The player cannot travel to the next planet until they've gathered enough of their ship pieces to actually continue. The main player's goal is in, uh, to gather enough spaceship pieces to get through all three levels. And the player's secondary goals are solving the terrain-based puzzles that hinder the player from reaching their spaceship pieces. But the ultimate goals of the game is actually for just the player to get home. Now the antagonizing force of this game is actually the terrain itself. Where the game is a three-dimensional puzzle-based game, the planet themselves will have different themed levels expressing the most common dangers within them. Now the first one is going to be heavy solar winds and falling uh, asteroid boulders. The second planet will be an ice asteroid with slick floors and jagged ice-filled caverns to fall in. And the third planet will be a magma fire asteroid with rising lava in areas with fire. Now the main decisions the player has to make is to decide on where to investigate to find spaceship pieces. Um, the player will have to use the help of uh, their AI system Zeke and their HUD system to create spaceship items from materials and to upgrade the, their weapon. And the player will need to decide on how they're going to use their, their attachments to get past areas. Um, the player will use the bubble attachment to lift heavy objects out of their way. They'll use their fire attachment to melt ice that's blocking their path. The player will use their grappling attachment to swing over pits of magma and fire. Now the theme and viewing perspective of the game is a 3D viewing perspective. It's a very highly chibi cartoon based game style with lots of neon colors, music, and space. This is a learning game that teaches people about physical reactions and using that knowledge to solve puzzles, stopping you from progressing through the game itself. Now the games that do resemble this to me is the gathering system in Fallout to the progression of Mario and the puzzle systems in Portal. However, I do feel that with those it will make it a very nostalgic feeling game with unique puzzles in it as well to create a flow to easy to difficult problem solving. And the possibilities that this game creates is co-op playing through single playing um, puzzle problems um, as well as as well as new gear and levels if the game does become a success. The risks do include and, and involve the scripting work needed for puzzles and the weapon, weapon system as well as a lot of modeling and artist work for the asteroid planets and the items in game itself. I want to thank you for your time and hope you all have a great day. Thanks.